Look at that mixture. No! <gasps> it's the double yes! I love it. Oh, I just dropped this one too. Ugh. Hello everybody. So today's video is gonna be about what to do when you have a bunch of extra eggs. And for me, I don't use eggs that often, so a bunch of extra is two dozen plus one. There's no way I'm gonna use all of these. Also, some of these might not be good because some of them have been here for a while. So I'm just gonna show you guys the process of what I do when I have a lot of eggs and also how to tell if they're good because I have my egg handling license, fun fact, and what I end up using the eggs for. And then also what I do with the shells after. So I'm gonna be doing all of it at the same time. So try to keep up. If you can't, sorry, slow the speed down or something because I'm not slowing down. <laughs> can't believe that happened. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. So nasty. Okay. I cannot believe that just happened. That was my only double yolk egg and I just broke it. The first thing that, can you all even see me? Why is it tilted so much? Hold on. Let me freaking check. Probably my head's not in it because if this is the top, my head's definitely not freaking in This is pissing me the off. Today, I'm going to be making egg salad and brownies. Yum. I know that is not a normal combo or a yummy combo, but they're not going together. They're for the rest of the week. First, brownies. Also, I am following a recipe for these because I'm not a chef and uh, I want to make sure that they're actually good. So preheat the oven to 325. Also, this recipe calls for chocolate chips and I don't have any, so I'm just going to chop up this chocolate caramel sea salt chocolate bar and use this instead. Because I mean, you got to have some chocolate in it or else it's not going to be ooey gooey goodness. So one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Ow! One, two. Also, I'm a very chaotic cooker and, is that even right? I cook and bake very chaotically. So if this is stressing you out, sorry, this is just real. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, baking is not clean, it never will be. And making egg salad is worse. So three fourths cup of flour. One, two, oh. Three. The worst part about baking is having to clean up after yourself. I swear, it's the worst. Two thirds cup of cocoa powder. So I'm just gonna use every single cup I have. Just so you guys know, this baking cocoa, this is a bad brand. It's not good. It doesn't very, taste very good, but it's all I have. So I'm gonna use it anyway. But if you're gonna get a cocoa powder to use for baking brownies especially, try to find a good one because this is not what I would recommend. All right, well, I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in here. Why, why? Half a cup of powdered sugar. Also, I must say this is not a how-to video because I've never even made this recipe before. <laughs> I'm just bringing you guys along on the journey. Should I just add more regular sugar? Sure. Third cup of more sugar. This brand of knife, by the way, Hinkles. Ignore that it's dirty. Ew, what the heck? Okay, Hinkles, amazing, lovely. This is the, one of the nicest knives I've ever owned. Jeez, it's dirty, ignore that. But. His name is uh, Rico because he's so smooth, so Rico Suave. Hopefully this caramel isn't too like wet, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it. Oh, you see how smooth that is? Well, I guess it's not wet, which is what I didn't want, but I don't see caramel unless it's those little chunks. But what's the point in that? Caramel's supposed to be gooey. Are there any chefs watching this? Don't judge me, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys the way that I tell if eggs are still good or not, uh, because we do have a lot that probably aren't good. So what I'm gonna do, just get water in a bowl. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your eggs, put them in the bowl. If they sink, then they're good. If they float, then they're not good. Sometimes they'll bounce. If they bounce, that's okay. As long as it stays at the bottom. I kind of hope I get a bad one so you guys can see what I mean. Ooh, did you see that one? Oh, now you're gonna sink perfectly fine. Like you didn't just have a problem. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that one away. You saw how it bounced for so long. So I'm actually, but what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna waste the shell. So I'm gonna crack it, throw away the egg, but I'm gonna keep the shell and put it in here for what I'm doing later. That's the shell that I, that's the egg that I freaking dropped. Okay, apparently I have a problem cracking eggs because I just got it all over my foot. Oh God, okay, this is chaos. Sorry. I'm gonna put these over here because I don't need them yet. 
eggs. Okay, but usually what I do when I see that I have too many eggs, I'll just look up recipes that I know use eggs. Typically, baking. Last week or two weeks ago, I don't remember, I did spinach and egg casserole, and it took 12 eggs, and it, I just mixed it all together with some cheese and some spinach, and threw it in the oven, and that was literally it. It was super easy, and it was pretty good too. I really don't. Ah! I don't know anything about baking. I just enjoy it. There's egg seeping into my sock. And then half a teaspoon of vanilla, which I don't measure because I love vanilla, so I just, I free hand it. That's definitely more than half a teaspoon, but I don't care. Whisk. Whip. Oh! Whip. Oh! When was that wet? What? So I have the wet ingredients in here, which are the eggs, vegetable oil, uh, water, and vanilla. So it said to whisk it up. Don't like the way that sounds. Okay, this is the flour, sugar, cocoa powder, chocolate chips, salt. You guys properly see the bowls? Absolutely not, you can't, huh? You know what, I don't feel like doing it slowly. I'm too impatient for that. <coughs> I have cocoa powder in my lungs. This is so thick. It says in the recipe though that it's gonna be thick and do not worry. It doesn't taste bad. All right, now it goes in the oven for 40 minutes. God, okay. All right, now while that takes 40 freaking minutes to cook, we are going to make egg salad. So I have my pot of water right here. I'm only gonna do six eggs because I did 12 last time and I wasted a bunch. Typically this recipe is 12. So keep in mind that it's supposed to be 12 and that'll help you get rid of a lot more eggs. You just set them on the bottom. Five, six. Let's just go ahead and do seven because you know why not. I'll be back in a second because this is gonna take a minute. All right, starting to boil. Once it starts to boil, I'm gonna let it boil for about a minute and then cover it and let it sit for 12 minutes because that's what the recipe says to do. And then um, I'm just gonna, I cook them, or not cook them. I like mix them with things that I like. I like mustard-based egg salad, so that's what this is gonna be. Um, I don't measure that, I just do it by eye. Now that it's boiling, ignore that pan. That's for later. And set a timer for 12 minutes. But silly me, you gotta turn it off. And then let it sit for 12 minutes. We're gonna go check on the chickens because I know, jeez, that they've laid more eggs. They've moved spots multiple times. So last time you guys saw them, they were over there. And then they moved over there and then they moved here and now they're all the way over here which i think i like this spot best because they get a lot of shade hi and they have all this stuff like leaves and stuff to kind of play with i guess i'm gonna check for firefly eggs because she doesn't lay them in the thing she lays them on the ground oh we got two. Oh no way firefly so where's my baby girl did you finally figure it out I'm so proud of you. Don't peck my phone. Look how pretty. Look at that mixture. No, no, no. It's freaking, oh, I just dropped this one too. She laid this today. Ugh. Also wanted to do a quick little Nova update. Cause it's been a while. You see how good it looks? It looks so much better. Yeah, you're almost all the way done. And we got the biopsy back and it said that it's a low grade tumor and that they got all the margins, so they got all of it. Oh, yeah. We're just waiting for her to not look like Frankenstein anymore, which should be sometime soon. All right, now I'm going to get some water and some ice and put it in this bowl and then put the eggs in here for five minutes and then I'm gonna start cracking them. I'm gonna get a slatted spoon and get them out. Also the mix of smells, the boiled egg plus the brownies, nauseating. I <laughs> All right, so now my house successfully smells like putridness. I cracked my phone protector again. It's cracked like 15 in 15 different places. Okay, it is definitely done. Time to smell chocolate while I make egg salad because that's not disgusting. Choke them up a bit. See, I don't like boiled eggs like at, oh! I don't like boiled eggs like at all, but oh my God, it smells so bad. But for some reason, egg salad I do like, which is really strange because it's literally just mixed boiled eggs. If anybody out there is like an egg salad connoisseur or enthusiast and this watching me do this is making you wanna scream and cry, 
and hide under a bridge, then I'm sorry. But it still ends up tasting good, so... I wanna know the first person that boiled an egg, sniffed it, and went, mm, I'm gonna take a bite out of that. I just got chills thinking about that. They're on crack. So disgusting. Mayonnaise, mustard. I like mustard more than I like mayonnaise, so... Some of you guys are probably gonna think I'm absolutely disgusting, but I don't care. This is the seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, white vinegar, and then some smoked paprika. Yum. It is good. It just looks and smells so bad. Yeah. Normally I make this in a sandwich form. Also, I feel like this video is just making me look like an awful cook when I am not an awful cook. This is just a weird combination of things to watch in one video, but whatever, you know? See? It tastes so good. I just can't look at it. Wunderbar. I only have one more part of this video and it's what I do with the shells. It's really, really fast. So this video is a chaotic mess. I'm sorry. I'm acting like I'm on crack. I'm not. I'm just excited today for whatever reason. But I'm going to take all my shells, which I have a lot now. I'm going to put them here. Just kind of crush them up a little bit more. So pretty. Easter. Anyway, so I put them all on here and then I'm going to put them in the oven for like 10 minutes at 400 degrees just to get all of the like wetness and bacteria off so that I can then blend it up into like a powder and then I feed it back to the chickens. That way if you give them just full eggshells, they'll start to peck at their own eggs because they think that that's what that's for. But if you blend it up into a powder and mix it in with their food or give it to them separately, then they don't think about it that way. So then you can give them back their calcium and also not worry about egg pecking. You can also give it to dogs, which I haven't done yet, but I'm probably going to soon just because I have so many eggshells and it's good for them for calcium reasons as well. Also, I had to take off my socks because I stepped in egg. I stepped in the egg that I cracked on the side of the trash can that was bad so I could keep the shell and half of it fell out of the trash can and then I stepped in it. All right, I hope you guys have been enjoying the chaos because now after putting a bunch of broken eggshells in the oven, I'm now gonna taste the brownie because that's the correct order of succession in this process, I guess. Is this still hot? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Is this still hot? Is this still hot? All right, it's very ooey gooey in the center. You can see it's sticking to the knife, but that's a good thing I like when they're like this. I'm gonna taste it. This is my first time ever making brownies uh, homemade. Oh my god! Let's go! Now I'm happy. I clearly had no confidence in myself, but they're good, I'm happy. I took these out after 10 minutes. You can use a blender, you can use whatever. This is a little cup blender. Just a heads up warning to anybody that's planning on doing this. Oh my gosh! Why am I so clumsy today? This does not smell good. After a while, our blender starts to sound like it's gonna uh, take flight to space. These are the ones that I've already done, so I'm just gonna add this to that one. I'm gonna take some to the chickens. It also like steams after, look at that. It's not steam, obviously, but like the powder, the dust. Oh God, it smells really, really bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some of this to the chickens because they haven't had any in a while. And last time I took it to them, they ate it in like five minutes. That's nice. <laughs> this is how I fed them when they were babies. But not all of it, because I want to keep some for the chicken, or the dogs. Flip it. And all of it goes down in the bo the bottom. Chickies, I have your old baby shells. Oh, duck, you can't do that. Uh -oh. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's everything that I do with the eggs. Oh. Sometimes it's a lot more than that. Yeah, sometimes I'll make a casserole, sometimes I'll make banana bread. Um, it really just depends on how many I have and what I feel like doing. Today, I didn't really have that many and I didn't really have that many like desires for what I wanted to do. So that was good enough for me for the time being. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that you guys learned something from that. Hopefully you didn't learn that I'm a bad cook because all that tasted good, I promise. But yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment, turn the bell on, all those fun things really help out. So please do that for me if you feel like it. Obviously, can't make it. Love you guys.